In a verse of the Qur'an, the fecundating characteristic of the winds and the formation of rain as a result are mentioned. And we sent the fecundating winds, then caused water to descend from the sky, therewith providing you with water in abundance. In this verse, it is pointed out that the first stage in the formation of rain is wind. Until the beginning of the 20th century, the only relationship between the wind and the rain that was known was the wind's driving clouds. However, modern meteorological findings have demonstrated the fecundating role of the winds in the formation of rain. This fecundating function of the wind works in the following way. On the surface of oceans and seas, countless air bubbles form because of the foaming action. The moment these bubbles burst, thousands of tiny particles with a diameter one hundredth of a millimeter are thrown into the air. These particles known as aerosols, mix with dust carried from land by winds and are carried to upper layers of the atmosphere. These particles carried to higher altitudes by winds come in contact with water vapour up there. Water vapour condenses around these particles and turns into water droplets. These water droplets first come together and form clouds and then fall on the earth in the form of rain. As seen, winds fecundate the water vapour floating in the air with the particles they carry from the sea and eventually help the formation of rain clouds. If winds did not possess this property, water droplets in the higher atmosphere would never form and there would be no such thing as rain. The most important point here is that this critical role of the winds in the formation of rain was stated centuries ago in a verse of the Qur'an at a time when people knew almost very little about natural phenomena. Another fact given in the Qur'an about rain is that it is sent down on earth in due measure. This is mentioned in Surat al zukhruf as follows. It is he who sends down water in due measure from the sky by which we bring a dead land back to life. That is how you too will be raised from the dead. This measure in rain has again been discovered by modern research. It is estimated that in one second approximately 16 million tons of water evaporate from the earth. This figure amounts to 513 trillion tons of water in one year. This number is equal to the amount of rain that falls on the earth in one year. This means that water continuously circulates in a balanced cycle according to a measure. Life on Earth depends on this water cycle. Even if people had used all the technology in the world, they would not be able to produce this cycle artificially. Even a minor deviation in this amount would very soon give rise to a major ecological imbalance that would bring about the end of life on Earth. Yet, this never happens and the rain keeps falling every year in exactly the same amount just as is revealed in the Qur'an.